This is for Alex. Um, obviously, your last uh, game as a senior, how special was that? And also, how special was it at the end to see Bradley get that touchdown and you guys all mob him there at the end? Yeah, it, uh, time flies. I can't be more just grateful to the coaches, these group of guys I've been playing with all these years. It's uh, been some great memories. Hopefully, we can make a, a couple more. And appreciative of, of all y'all, really, the fans. Uh, y'all make this place so special. And then Bradley Dunn, that, that's, that's the most excited I've been in a long time. That, uh, I love that for him. He deserved that. He, he was carrying the ball well that whole night. And so I'm glad he'd get in the box. And so it was just a great night. Debo, you plan on sleeping in the uniform tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'll probably keep it on the next two days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, just with the the fakes on that one drive Wofford had in the second quarter, when you guys were out there, what did you see on those plays? And Shane was talking about how you guys were ready for those situations, but what was your perspective on what went wrong on those plays? Yeah, well, they had a, a little jet on the first one, I think, and that you know they pulling all the tricks out the hat, you know, and I think they got like three yards on it. We was ready for it, but we just we just got to do more executing so they don't get that. Alex, this is for you. Um, flashback to your recruiting days when you announced for South Carolina, signed with South Carolina. You came out with Jordan Birch, and everybody was like ecstatic. Jordan Birch is going to South Carolina, and oh, Alex Huntley's coming too. Uh, you know, you're still here. He's on the West Coast. But how do you feel about your career here and making your name and establishing your uh, legacy in your hometown by um, playing your whole career in Columbia? Uh, I'm just blessed, you know. A lot of, a lot of great people, you know, help me become the person I am today. So I'm just blessed to uh, have been with, you know, have met those people and then my teammates. Just being able to have these memories with them, it's been uh, nothing short of amazing. So I'm just glad to have been able to do that. I'm glad to be here in Columbia, and so I just extremely blessed. For for either one of you guys, from a senior perspective, did y'all? Do anything uh, specific this week, uh, different, have have a seniors meeting or, or anything different about this week for you guys in, in preparation for this day? I would say we kept everything the same for sure. Just, uh, you know, if it's working, keep it going, you know. So just uh, executing, practicing hard, and uh, getting better each and every day. Nothing really different, though. This is for both of you. Uh, during the week, Coach Beamer said he was going to talk to the team about all the emotions involved with senior day. Uh, you see your family out there, and then you have to snap back to it and play football. The slow start that you had in the first quarter, is any of that attributed to all of the emotions surrounding the day? I would say we just got to execute. I'm not, I'm not, you can't blame it on nobody but yourself. As a team, we got to be better and come out faster. So uh, it's some of the stuff we was messing up on, that's strictly us. had nothing to do with them. So we got to come out and execute better. Nothing to blame that on. In the, the last 30 or so minutes of celebrating and thinking about all this, have, have you guys considered yet what a win next week would mean for, for this team? Uh, I mean, you know, it's Clemson week. So I think, uh, I think everybody knows what the time is. And uh, just kind of just go at it how we have been this whole season. We've been doing something well, especially this back half. And so just keep being who we are, try and go one no every week and just execute and, and dominate. I want to know each week. Okay, uh, Debo, for you, um, Walford actually led the first half in time of possession. What was kind of the message in the second half? And then how do you guys come out and kind of completely shut them down yeah. the next half? For one, uh, defense, get off the field. You know, they was converting on third downs in the beginning uh, off of stuff that we was messing up on, you know. And then we had an interception that got called back. So stuff like that, we can control. Like, we can't be hurting ourselves like that. And then uh, offense, do what they do, you know. But as a defense, we got to get off the field, three and outs. Sort of going off Jordan's question, if, if you could each take this. But, you know, you guys have played up at Clemson before. You've won a game up there, but maybe not one like this. I think it's the first time in a decade. You guys are both nationally ranked. Just what are kind of your overarching thoughts on not just the rivalry, but how, you know, how important this game is this year? Um, I mean, honestly, I haven't really thought about Clemson, and you know, until probably right now. 
each week the focus is going one on one and oh control what we control and just you know execute everything we can and so we're going to go into this week prepare we're, we're going to execute what we have to do and just you know just keep working that's all it really is just every game's the same and yeah just just go at it coach was talking about spencer rattler was back in the building today he didn't have the opportunity to have a win in his last game at home. Still plenty of season left for you guys, but just how gratifying is it to know last game of Willie B was a dominant win? Yeah. It's a, it's a great feeling. Um, but we got more to do, you know, so it was good getting that W in uh, Williams Bryce, but it's more to do, you know, more we got to go out on and better way to leave the seniors out, you know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.